The general public may know Coldplay from their big hits, such as Yellow, Clocks, Speed of Sound, Fix You, and Viva La Vida. But what makes this band so special? Why is it that fans worldwide relate so well to four celebrity musicians? Well, it's because they aren't, and never were, true celebrities at heart, but only ordinary people who never lost sight of their goal to spread music with meaning and emotion. So, who are these ordinary people? Known as the lead singer of Coldplay, Chris Martin is the band's most well-known member. He is the face of the band, and yet the most humble. Also often insecure, Chris has a habit of saying sorry and thank you to anyone associated with Coldplay and within shouting distance. Thanks a lot and for all that you've done and all you're doing for us. He claims that there are only three things that stay constant in his busy life. His turbulent relationship with women that drives his songwriting, a fear of dying young, and a paranoid obsession with hair loss. In 2000, NME, or the New Musical Express, which is a British music magazine, called Chris Martin, a subject ripe for investigation. Martin doesn't drink, smoke, or take drugs. He's pretty unusual. He has a Christian-like zeal about him, as if he's enamored by life and its myriad opportunities. His personality has transformed the band, directly reflecting his dualistic character, for Coldplay is confident and yet self-doubting. Despite the newfound confidence, they still refuse to print their lyrics on the CD liner notes. AOL member Chess MD2 wanted to know why. This is why. A, because they're not very good. B, because my spelling is atrocious. C, because we both think that whenever you buy a record with lyrics in it, you, you spend all the time reading the lyrics and not listening to the music properly, or I always do. In the same way that um, I wish I could... I wish I had an example, <laughs> but I haven't. You know what I mean? I don't need to paint an example. Now for his profile. Chris Martin is the lead singer of Coldplay. He was born in Devon, England, and calls himself a self-proclaimed warrior and a proud overachiever. He claims to have had a pretty idyllic childhood with his close-knit family in the countryside. He started learning piano as a preteen. His influences include Bob Dylan, Neil Young, Tom Waits, U2, Jeff Buckley, and Radiohead. Next is Guy Berryman, Coldplay's bass player. He has called himself the sex, drugs, and rock and roll member of the band. But just like Chris, his personality has two sides. When drinking or partying, he is easily the most friendly person of the group, but otherwise, he is quiet and reclusive. He is the only one out of the four members to never finish college. He says, at school you're pushed through this kind of system to become a professional of some sort. It's BS. It's just a system that you don't really have to be a part of. Although he is the self-proclaimed party animal, he makes sure that the public knows Coldplay takes their job seriously. We never, never, ever drink before or during a performance. Never. The performance is everything to us, and we always want to be on our best. When NME asked him what talent he gives to the band, he responded shortly and humbly, saying, Maybe there is something I bring to Coldplay, but I can't see it. Guy Berriman is Coldplay's bass guitarist. He was born in Scotland, but moved to England when he was 12. He says, I think I've kind of got the best position. I get all the benefits of being in one of the biggest bands in the world and have a certain anonymity as well, so I'm perfectly happy with the situation. He calls himself street smart, and he's the most private member of the group. When he was young, he rebelled against popular tastes and decided that he liked the bass lines in Motown music. Much of his influence comes from American soul music, such as James Brown, Marvin Gaye, and Cool and the Gang. I put a smile upon my face. The third member of Coldplay is Johnny Buckland. He is known as the one with the talent for calmness. He loves his job and is not afraid to share it with a smile. His ability to stay light when other rock stars would get weighed down by the pressure and stress of daily life is an essential aspect for the band to survive. 
As the lead guitarist, he is praised for his spellbinding riffs. Chris says, Johnny just gives my songs life. They become the band song once he grabs hold of it. I love having Johnny put those unforgettable guitar lines over them. Johnny Buckland is Coldplay's lead guitarist. He grew up in a small Celtic North Wales town named Mould and began playing guitar by the age of 11. He prefers to stay in the background and have his guitar talk for him. In fact, it's his riffs that make up a big part of Coldplay's signature sound. He and Berryman are our most open of the group to explore new musical directions. Amazing is his most often used word in the English language. His influences include The Beatles, Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, The Stone Roses, Happy Mondays, and U2. The last but not least member of Coldplay is Will Champion, the drummer. Now, Will is not only the drummer for Coldplay, but is also the member that is the most concerned with the band's integrity and credibility. When questioned by NME about his contribution to the band, he replied, I like saying no. Often I have to say no. No, we're not doing that. He is also the standard for the band. What he likes will get recorded, and whatever the band does has to pass his test. With Will's will leading the way, Coldplay has turned out more than $4 million worth in offers that could have easily made the band rich. But Will makes sure that their music isn't exploited and keeps them from being used to sell somebody else's product. Will Champion is Coldplay's drummer. He was born in Southampton and is the official jock of the group. He is hardly seen backstage without a basketball in his hands. He is not only a drummer, but an overall musician playing a wide variety of instruments and having various musical influences. He also takes a paternal role in the group and is the one that the other three come to for help or advice on their thoughts for the band. These four members, each unique in their own way, met each other while taking pop history at University College London. Coldplay has since released four main albums, Parachutes in 2000, A Rush of Blood to the Head in 2002, X and Y in 2005, and finally, the latest album, Viva La Vida or Death and All His Friends, in 2008. Parachutes, named after Chris Martin's quote, Parachutes Get You Out of Bad Situations, featured the debut single, Yellow. The album won Best Alternative Music Album at the 2002 Grammy Awards. Russia Blood to the Head, which was named after the hectic adrenaline of a band's first time in the spotlight, presented Clocks. The album again won the Grammy Award for Best Alternative Music Album at the 2003 Grammys, and then at the 2004 Grammys, Coldplay earned Record of the Year for Clocks. From X and Y came Speed of Sound and Fix You. This album won the Best British Album Award at the Brit Awards, but was slightly less positively received than its predecessors. And then Coldplay's latest album, Viva La Vida or Death and All His Friends, was released in June 2008, and has since been the number one selling album in 36 countries around the world. Viva La Vida is the band's first song to reach number one in the United States and the United Kingdom. The songs featured on the album contain a variety of influences, clearly showing how much Coldplay has grown, such as Lovers in Japan, which has an oriental tone, Lost having a hip-hop beat with organ in the background, and Life in Technicolor, which is all instrumental and techno in style. Today, Coldplay is widely popular amidst a wide range of ages. Maybe it is because of how their four complementary personalities show in the music they create together, or merely just because Chris Martin can write lyrics that strike home, though he'll never admit to it. There may never be an obvious reason, but whether or not their success continues or fades, there is no denying that Coldplay has permanently impacted American music in the way that only Brits with musical souls can.